All right, let's face it. We don't make a ton of money serving in the military. In this video, I'm gonna break down some ways to make military passive income. Hey guys, my name is Brent Bowers. I've done over 310 land transactions. I've flipped houses, I wholesale houses. We own our own apartment building and commercial buildings. And it all started with earning additional income while in the military. I now have 114 notes, land notes, paying me every single month, give me financial freedom, time freedom, and now geography freedom that ultimately allowed me to exit the military, making twice the money that I was in the military. All right, so here's my story. Here's why I needed additional income while I was in the military. 2000 2007, I purchased my first property. I also got a real estate license. Everyone knows what happened in 2008 and I was struggling. I was beating the pavement, wearing out boots and shoes every day just to make a living. Ultimately had to move back in with my in-laws and I'm married at the time, no kids, thank God but I was a little embarrassed. I had already owned a business, had a real estate license and a rental property, and now I'm moving in with my in-laws. And my grandfather said, hey, you know, join the military. You can go back to school. You can get another career path. Maybe real estate is not for you. So I listened to him. By 2009, I'm in basic training and then AIT, but here's the problem. I was used to making a certain amount of money each month and I actually took a huge pay decrease by going in the military. And then prior to the few months before I went in the military, I actually wasn't making any pay at all. So I was a little behind on my bills. So I had to earn additional income. So here, here I am in basic training. I'm actually making beds, making other people's beds and, and making income doing this. Like I'm like making all additional income because I'm sorry, the army was not covering my bills. I was also pulling other fire guard shifts where I would lose sleep for multiple hours each night when sleep was so precious in basic training, but I was earning additional income because I was not getting my, my, my bills were not all being covered. Ultimately got through basic training. Now it's time to go to AIT. AIT, we start to get a little bit more freedom. We can go out on weekends, we can put in for passes, we can put in four day passes. I was not doing that. I was not seeing my wife and basically I was taking that time to pull fire guard shifts and duties for other people, other soldiers while they went and spent money and I made money. I would get like $100 to pull these fire guard shifts each time and then I would, I would do, we would have what we call dress blue or or class A inspections, like where they would actually inspect our uniform. Guys would pay me like $25 to, to iron their dress blues and get them in perfect condition. So I was like racking up money, like I had piles of cash. That was an AIT. And then lately thereafter, I deployed to Afghanistan. I was the guy that was able to get the cigarettes and sell the cigarettes. And I was the guy that was able to hook up internet in people's rooms and I was making additional income. But ultimately I had an entrepreneurship experience. You know, I was now paying my bills, no problem. I just loved entrepreneurship and I wanted to earn passive income while I was in the military, but ultimately, I wasn't earning passive income, I was just working my butt off. Well, let's fast forward to 2013. The Army pulls me out of Afghanistan on the second deployment and sends me to college to be an Army officer. Well, this time I bought a house right next to the college and ultimately rented out my additional rooms to earn additional passive income. And that was all well and good, but now it's time to move to Colorado after 21 months of being in Colorado or in college. Now it's time to move to Colorado. Ultimately, what I did in Colorado while serving as an army officer, I started buying vacant raw land at crazy discounts. The first parcel I purchased was $285 and I flipped it for fast cash for $5,000. Where did I find this piece of land? This was a piece of land on the tax delinquent list. Basically, the seller had not paid any taxes on this land for multiple years and they were about to lose it and luckily I had sent them a postcard right at the perfect time and I'm going to give you a free gift at the end of this video I'm actually going to give you the postcard that I used to buy this parcel of land and many many other I told you I've done 310 land deals and I now have 114 notes paying us every single month so fast forward I did multiple of these the second one I did the second piece of land I purchased was for $500 and then I actually put this land for sale on Craigslist and got a $500 down payment and a $400 a month payment after that. So ultimately I got my cash back out of the deal, the $500 and the next month when I got that first payment of $400, I was totally profitable. 
Well, at this point, I was absolutely hooked. This is the holy grail of passive income. I kept rinsing and repeating. The next parcel of land was $5,000 and the next parcel of land was 10,000. And I kept selling, buying these lands at a crazy discount and then selling these lands on passive income, seller financing. And before I knew it, I was up to nine grand a month while in the military, while making my army officer salary. Because granted, I started as an E1, went all the way up to E5, and then went to O1, which is a second lieutenant, and then the first lieutenant. I ultimately got out as a first lieutenant, making over nine grand a month in passive income from land. And that's why I call it the holy grail of land investing. All right, so let's talk about a little bit how I did this. What I would do is I would get a list of landowners and then I would ultimately mail that landowner a postcard. And again, I promise I'm gonna give you the exact postcard that I've used to buy over 310 parcels of land. But I wanna talk about how to find that list. And that's by going to the land sharks list Dot com, you can pull a list of landowners in whatever county you're in. I highly recommend starting in your own backyard within about a two hour radius because that's how I started. And ultimately it gave me the confidence. I can go to the land, I can meet buyers, I can meet sellers. And then once you pull that list, you're gonna to wanna to send them this postcard. And this postcard can be found at thelandsharks.com forward slash postcard. And then if you go below, click the down arrow and click in that description, you can also click on that link. So ultimately you're gonna be pulling a list of landowners and then mailing this list. And then after you mail this list, I want you to communicate with this list. But before I do, I need to make sure you subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and then also throw me a like too as a little tip. So let's talk about what to say to these landowners when they call you to get their property to buy this land at a crazy massive discount. And I'm gonna send you, give you a link as well to the exact script that me and my team use every single time we purchase a parcel of land. And that is the landsharks.com forward slash script. That's exactly what we say. And then ultimately after we have a deal, we, the seller says, let's do this thing, we send them a contract. And I'm gonna give you the exact contract that I use as well. And that's the landsharks.com forward slash contract that's the landsharks.com forward slash contract and then i want you to run this by your real estate attorney because you want to make sure this contract is only two pages works in every single state and you've got to be careful when you're talking to sellers because most of the time they've never done a real estate con or real estate transaction and now they're looking at a contract i like to call it a purchase agreement use those words purchase agreement not contract. It's a two page purchase agreement. That way they, you, we don't give them a lot of anxiety. We don't want to overwhelm them with an 18 page document. I like to keep it short, sweet, and simple. All right, so as you know, the real estate market is absolutely exploding hot and I just showed you the holy grail of earning passive income while in the military. If you're looking for this type of thing, if you're looking to build a business that serves, you, your family, and others, and you wanna earn the passive income of a lifetime and be able to have more financial freedom, time freedom, take your family on that trip to Europe, head on over to thelandsharks.com, schedule a call with me and my team, and if we feel like we're a great fit, I'd be honored to coach you. Peace out, guys.